One of the very first things that we learned about a ninja is that a good ninja learns to see past deception. After all, ninja live in a world where secrets are about as common as throwing a kunai in battle. Every person has their secrets. Boruto's big secret is the guy who likes to wear shiny pink underwear, which I've covered in another video that talks about the scene from the Naruto Parent and Child Day novel. Well, Hanabi Hyuga has a secret as well, but unlike Boruto, this isn't an embarrassing secret. In fact, the secret is just another sign that when looking at all the women in the Naruto universe, Hanabi just proved once again why she's best girl in the entire franchise. So in today's video, we're going to explore Hanabi Hyuga's big secret. Now, the information is given to us in the Boruto light novel, Naruto Parent and Child Day. Now, like I've repeatedly said in the past, when coming to these videos erase everything you saw in the anime adaptation for these novels because in most cases the anime version takes a lot of liberties and it cuts out a lot of scenes and it changes the scenes that i share with you guys so in the scene i'm going to share with you guys it takes place pretty early on in the naruto pan and child a novel hinata has rushed from her house to see her father hiyashi who hinata is under the impression might actually be dying but when she arrives arrives there, she quickly discovers that Hiyashi just has a bad back and Hinata gets a bit irritated at the deception that Hanabi pulled on her. Cause again, best girl understands a ninja sees past deception. Hinata got a little rusty right here because she's now in the very uncomfortable position of being over to her father's home. But this is the catch. She didn't bring her grandchildren to visit whom she knows that her father is going to ask about and then be disappointed that she's not bringing her children to see their grandfather. So Hinata as she and Hanabi speak with her father, move on to the conversation of what gifts to give Boruto and Himawari for Parent and Child Day. So it's in this moment that Hanabi shows one of the reasons why she's best girl in the series. So Hanabi, upon hearing Hinata try to explain what the ninja cards are to Hiyashi, realizes that, hey, she has quite a few cards herself. And she even says, I have a few cards. But when she returns from her room, Hanabi shows up with a massive collector's binder filled with ninja cards sorted by the rarity of the cards. So it's in this moment that we learn the addicting card game that Boruto's generation is in a frenzy, playing whenever they get a chance. It's also enjoyed by people from Naruto's generation like Hanabi, who just to remind people, is only five years younger than Naruto and Hinata. And you have to remember, Naruto and Hinata are in their early 30s at this point. By this point in the timeline, if I'm not mistaken, Naruto and Hinata are 32 years old. Now, it's also in this moment that Hanabi shows the cards and explains the ranks and that certain ranks are reserved for only specific ninja, like Hokages get a certain rank and etc. etc. What I really love about this moment is that based on the personality that we saw in the anime, I could totally see Hanabi grabbing some of those ninja cards and being willing to play Boruto or some of the other Ganyan. Moments like this humanize the characters in the Naruto franchise, making us truly appreciate the fact that this is indeed a different era. Naruto grew up in a time where there was a cold war between the five great nations and as Naruto got older the drum beats of war they got louder and louder by the time he was 17 years old. Naruto saw one of his former rivals Neji be killed in cold blood. He saw thousands of fodder ninja assume the Konohamaru position when they got killed off by Obito. Seeing these characters who if this was in a different lifetime would certainly not be collecting any of these ninja cards. It's so refreshing to see something like that. Also, this just further cements Hanabi as being the best girl in the series. She's the type of girl to play Naruto Ninja Voltage and pick up the controller and play NBA 2K with her man. P.S. If you want to show your support for the best girl, make sure you cop some of that best girl waifu merchandise over on the Naruto to explain Teespring because Hanabi's absolutely the best girl. Fuck with your hair from anybody else. But that's going to be it for this edition of Naruto Parent and Child Day. Let me know how you guys feel about this scene down in the comment section below. Do you agree with me that it humanizes the character in a way that's desperately needed? Let me know how you guys feel. But as always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Have an awesome day, guys.